Welcome back. We are starting the second time period of day one. Unlike the previous games, it's not just divided into days, we've got the days divided into segments as well, as you may already have noticed. And the background of this image appears to be the um, church. So perhaps we should go there during this time period. For now, we are back at the hotel, because going here is what triggered the new time period. Mr. Baza is no longer sitting outside, and it looks like Madeline is not here either. Too bad, I would have kind of liked to ask her about the Holy Grail. Looks like Madeline's here. The van indicates she has at least not left the hotel, as Gabriel indicates. Let's see if we can find out where these people went to. Um, Baza is not here. Jean is still walking around. It doesn't look like we have any new questions we can ask him. Let's see, I wonder if Madeline maybe went to the dining room or something. Maybe she went to her room. That's always an option. I've been waiting to get you alone, Maddie. I don't like the break in front of the others. But I think you're going to be surprised at how this dirt turns out. Might bring some fame your way. Help you out. Are you implying, Monsieur Wilkes, that you intend to find the treasure? This trip? That's right. You will have my full attention when you do. You don't believe me? I got this theory, see? Monsieur Wilkes, everyone has a theory. Yeah, but they ain't got what I got. You can write that up and take it to the bank. Really? And what do you have that is so unusual? Why don't you come by my room tonight and find out? I got this big piece of equipment, see? Oh, je comprends. However big your equipment, monsieur, I've no doubt seen something very much like it before. Besides, I probably have other plans. In his defense, he really does have uh, a, pe a large piece of equipment. And I'm talking actual hardware here. Although I do think he was also trying to pick up uh, Madeline, because, well, that's what everybody does in this game. Looks like they rolled out some food. I'm guessing that would be lunch, considering the time. Real propane cooking. Yeah. Um. Not right now, thanks. I make it a rule never to look at French food. It sometimes looks back. That must have made eating in France really difficult. Okay, um, let's see if we can talk to these guys. It seems, seems uh, he is part of the tour group. He also appears to be Australian. Very, very Australian. Huh. I haven't seen that guy before. Hi. I don't think we've met. I'm Gabriel Knight. Knight, eh? Wilkes is a name. John Wilkes. Australian? That's right. And you're a Yank. If you mean American, yeah. <laughs> but there are certain branches of my family tree that'd shoot you for that one. Are you with the tour? Yeah, I'm with the tour. Look, I'm all for being friendly, like, but my lunch is getting cold. Oh, sure. We'll, uh, uh we'll talk later. He seemed all too willing to talk to Madeline. So I guess he um, sees Gabriel as competition, perhaps. John Wilkes. He's with the tour. <laughs> is it just me, or is he eyeing Madeline the way a trucker eyes a Bud Light? Now me, I'd never be that obvious. <laughs> yeah, right. And it seems he fancies himself quite a treasure hunter. 
And that means he's not the only one, because Lady Howard and Estelle also seemed convinced they could find the treasure. Then again, I suppose Madeline probably gets a lot of people on the, her tour group that uh, think they can find the treasure, but I sincerely doubt anyone ever has. Or if they did, they would have kept quiet about it. Oh, baby, watching Madeline eat has its moments, but I probably have better things to do. Probably. Yeah, right, the kidnapped baby might remember. Hey, Madeline. How's lunch? Satisfactory, Monsieur Knight. Will you be dining, or are the prices here uh, kinda steep? Oh, if I get hungry, I'll eat. Don't worry about it. I will try not to uh, fret. Okay, um, I'm touched by your concern, I guess. You're eating soup, by the looks of it. Wait, no. I don't need to do that again. And I can't talk to her again. And there's no one else here, so... That at least answers the mystery of where Madeline go went, but... Uh, Mr. Baza is still missing. And Mosley is also not in the dining room, and I really kind of want to find out what the truth is behind the reason he's here. So maybe he went to his room, and we can talk to him in private. Mr. Knight? What's going on here? Are they leaving? There you are, ladies. I greatly appreciate your understanding. I'm sure you'll be able to repay us somehow, Mr. Baza, when the time comes. Move along now, Estelle. I really must rest. Thank you, Mr. Baza. Oh, thank you, Miss Styles. Okay, so they're not leaving, they're switching rooms. So... Emilio was in this room, and now Lady Howard and Estelle moved in here. Notice, by the way, that Lady Howard did nothing while um, Estelle was moving the suitcases. This will become a trend. And... It seems Mr. Baza moved into room 27, which is adjacent to our room. He's still failing very hard at not acting suspicious. Baza's in that room now. He switched with the girls from England. For some reason. Maybe we can ask him. I could ask him why he changed rooms, but I'm not sure I'd get a straight answer. True. Sounds like someone is using a hairdryer. And it sounds like Mosley's room. Mosley said his room number was 33, so I guess this one's his. God, how long can it take to dry those three or four strands of hair? Very long, apparently. So we'll have to wait. We now actually know what all of the rooms are, so let's see, we already know Mr. Baza is in um, 27. It's Wilkes' room. And the Big Australian is in number 23. Gabriel knows this from the logbook. He was apparently more successful at reading it than uh, I was. The register shows an Italian named Buccelli in this room. Well, that was one of the names I was able to read, but we haven't seen him yet. 
This was Emilio's room. Now those two British women have it. Let's see if maybe they can shed some light on why they were swapping. I'm not sure what I'd say if they came to the door. Okay, maybe not. Room 29. Madeline's room. Oh, I'll have to remember that. Sure. I'm not sure what I'd say if she came to the door. Plus, she's in the dining room, so... Kind of pointless. Oh, well. I guess that there's nothing else we can do in the hotel for now, so... Well, the image for the time block showed the church, so let's see if maybe there's something going on there. Which means I have to go down here. It's kind of tricky to go to the other direction from here. That leads to the museum. Well, nothing happening outside. Let's see inside. <sighs> Chi è colpevole di questo sacrilegio? May I be of service, monsieur? Par ce signe tu le vencra? Could you tell me what is meant by this? It means, by this sign shall you conquer it. It, it! What is it? The proper phrase is parse signe tu vencra. By this sign shall you conquer, meaning naturally the sign of the cross. I am aware that there's been a slight modification, yes. <sighs> to what end? What is the it to which the words refer? Monsieur, the Abbe Saunier designed this statue. What he meant by this, or by any of the decorations in the church, we can only surmise. I see. If that is your answer, then you cannot be of service to me. Good day. Monsieur? From the accent, I'm guessing this is our Italian, Bukeli. And he seems to be with the church. So I guess we can talk to these two fellows. I wonder why he's so interested in that. And I thought that only American tourists were that rude. No, they most certainly do not have a monopoly on rudeness. Where are you going? Um, I can't do anything. <laughs> ah, are you with the tour? Si, signore. And who are you? My name's Knight. My friend Mosley is on your tour. Ah, I am Bukelli, Vittorio Bukelli. Nice to meet you. How do you like the tour so far? Uh, I am enjoying it. Yes, thank you. He doesn't sound like he really cares that much. Oh well, let's uh, ask him about various topics, like uh, when he signed in. Did you get in late last night, Signor uh, Buccelli? Signore. Yes, it was quite late. Did you drive, or...? I took a train. Oh, yeah? I came in last night by train. What train were you on? Uh, from, uh, from Naples. A train from Naples to, um, Cuisa. Okay, I'm not going to go into this just yet, but anyone who is remotely familiar with that region of France knows that there cannot be a train from Naples to Cuisa. Uh, but the, the game kind of makes a point of that, but does it in such a way that the truth still doesn't make any sense, but... Um, anyway, remember that he said that he took a train from Naples. That, at the very least, will be important. From Napoli Centrale, I assume. So, what do you think of the church? It isn't a church. They should make that clear. It's not a church? 
No, this parish was closed years ago. The building is a tourist attraction, nothing more. Do you know anything about the Holy Grail being around here? The Grail is a story, nothing more. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you come to look for the treasure? Treasure? <laughs> Signore, please. Oh, you don't think there is a treasure? I would be very surprised. Then how come you took the tour? Well, uh, the history of the area and the fable of the treasure, uh, these interest one, no? No. Not really. Then, why are you here? Oh, yeah, the history, sure. That was convincing. Signore Buccelli. <laughs> Italian. I don't have anything else to say to him. Okay, let's see if we can talk to this guy then. He looks like a math teacher I had once, which explains why I never liked math. Hey, how are you? The name's Knight. Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. Are you the priest here, or...? People call me the Abbe, yes. The name's Arnaud. Abbe Arnaud. This is quite a place. I haven't seen many churches this, uh, <laughs> colorful. I assure you, it is unique. Saint Mary Magdalene's is quite ancient, but Abbe Saunier restored it in the 1890s. It is his spirit you see around you. Ah, nice. You don't see churches dedicated to Mary Magdalene very often. Ah, but the Magdalene cult was quite strong in the old days, particularly in this part of the world. Oh yeah? Why is that? The Magdalene journeyed to the south of France after the death of Jesus. She lived here for many years. In fact, you can visit her remains at a church near Marseille. Ah, I had no idea. The Holy Grail has been linked to this area, is that right? The connection is nearly as old as the Grail legend itself. What have you read on the subject? Not much. Arthurian legends aren't really my thing. But it's supposed to be a cup that contained the blood of Christ, isn't it? A vessel that contains the blood of Christ, yes. I see what they did there. Do you think the Holy Grail is behind the treasure of Rennes-le-Chateau? It is possible. That is vague. Do you know of anyone in this area that has a particular interest in the Grail? Besides myself? Hmm. No one that I can think of. Of course, the treasure seekers who visit the valley are often interested in the Grail. Um, this is actually, looks like a water bottle to me, but why are the tooltips not working? Okay. That's annoying, but I think this is, uh, Mary Magdalene. What do you mean by the Magdalene cult? A cult of devotion. It's still quite strong in this area, despite the best efforts of the Catholic Church. Did you know that most of the famous Black Madonna images were not images of the Virgin Mary at all, but of the Magdalene? The church wanted to downplay the role of Mary Magdalene, so they called her a prostitute and insisted that all the Black Madonnas were really the Virgin Mary. But the Black Madonnas usually show a mother and child, don't they? If the woman's Mary Magdalene, who's the child? Excellent question, Mr. Knight. One that you failed to answer. I just noticed. Do you know much about the Templars? I know the basic history. There are a few Templars buried in the cemetery, you know. But, uh, yes. I think I'll refer you to a young scholar staying in the house near the Chateau de Blanchefort. His name is Larry Chester. He says he's working on a Templar book. Okay, thanks. 
And let me know if he's helpful at all, will you? Sure. Okay, I guess we'll consult him later. Do you think that there's a treasure around here? Of course there's a treasure. But it will not be found by just anyone. Let those who have ears hear. Right. I'm sure that means something. Before we leave, I want to ask him about the brochures, but we'll do that in the next video.